チームオレンジ。チームオレンジは熊久保の武士セーナがナウトの3人を中心とするドリフトユニットその角度速度接近距離は間違いなく世界一だチームオレンジが追走に出撃すれば一瞬で相手をロックオン詰めて詰めて詰めまくり度胸とテクニックを兼ね備えた者だけが成し得る奇跡のパフォーマンスそれはまさに野生の動物が獲物の喉笛に噛みつく貝のシーンそのものだ Now we're gonna do the interview with Mr. Kumakubo friend or in team Alright, so Mr. Kumakubo nice meeting you よろしくお願いいたします Okay, so the first question So you guys have drifting school too And how many students are there? えー、ともう世界中であのチームオレンジはスクールをやってましてあと逆に世界中から日本に、えー、来ていただいてスクールを受けていただいてますあともちろん日本人の方もいますんでそうですね年間で多分1000人ぐらいの生徒がいると思います。fantastic and um so like all over the world so like you know from Italy from France from Russia from United States、uh, Which country is、uh, which country is like the most popular? Like, えーっとですね、まあ、イタリアはすごく、あのー、ここ最近人気が出てきましてイタリアの数もすごく多いですしあとはあのー、サイプロスがすごく今ドリフトが人気がある国ですね。サイフォー、サイフォー、wow, that's interesting. Okay, another question. So, do you think I can learn it too? もちろんあのー、チームオレンジの、まあ、スクールの良さは全くドリフトをしたことない人が、まあ、1日とか2日でドリフトができるようになるというのが、あのー、チームオレンジのスクールなんで、あのー、プロフェッショナルの方が、ね、もっとレベルを上げるためのスクールもありますけどほとんどはやったことない方がドリフトをするっていうできるようになるまでのスクールがメインです。はい、That's a great news, but the problem is I don't have any driver license.、Uh... Doesn't work. All right, next question. So, Big X event must be absolutely cool. What's the difference between drifting show and such event with other vehicles? えー、まあこの自分たちはドリフトのショーっていうのをやってたり、そのビッグ X っていうショーをやってますけど、あのドリフトのショーですとドリフトだけのファンが来るだけです。でも、えー、やっぱチームオレンジというのはドリフトっていうのは一つのパフォーマンスだと思ってるんでいろんなこのバイクの方とかインラインスケートとかスケートボードとかいろんなそのエクストリームスポーツの、えー、好きな人たちにも見てもらいたいでそれでドリフトを覚えてもらうでドリフトのファンの人にも逆に、えー、バイクとか、えー、インラインスケートとかそちらの他のエクストリームスポーツも楽しんでもらう,もう両方のお客さんが集まって楽しめるイベントっていうことでやりました。That's fantastic. Everything is mutual, you say? All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
finally. Uh, we call him Professor uh, Naoto Suenaga. Also, uh, he's uh, one of the top uh, D1 pilots. And also, uh, why, why we call Professor? Because uh, he's also the, the, uh, uh, the guy in charge of the, our drift school.
Now, we're gonna do the interview with Miss Kubokawa from the Orange Team. And look at her, isn't she beautiful? Oh my god. Guys, check it out. All right, so I'm gonna ask the question to you. You guys doing stunts as well, obviously, in the film. So, did you like shooting and do you like acting? え、最初はやっぱり緊張したりしていたんですけど、ま、最近はドリフトした後に演技することとかが、ま、多少増えてきて、あの、テンション上げたまま、はい、もう完璧に演じきることも増えてきまして、はい。ま、結構好きなブル
the next question. So, how long do you guys do one show of the drifting? Right, the the longest one is we did uh, longest one we did about 90 minutes, uh, which we did uh, in China for the Chinese Toyota. Um, but normally it's about between 15 and 20 minutes, and it's, it's all choreography, and this uh, include uh, introducing drivers, also the cars, and then some choreographies, and then they sometimes they collaborate with the other performers as well. Is it hard to memorize the choreograph of the show? Uh, yes, it, it is, uh, especially the long, uh, long one, uh, but also the 15 minute, 20 minute shows because we, we have to uh, just keep doing something, you know, we cannot stop the show uh, because it's, uh, the tempo, the rhythm is very important. Um, sometimes driver has a memo, like a little memo inside the car, <laughs> but of course you know, not, mu not, you know, not much time to see that. But also that we communicate with the radios and then also that we control uh, the, by the radio. So one control guy is there and then we say timing because the synchronization is also more, uh, very important for the shows. So probably a little bit easier than actors who cannot have any microphone or memo or... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Nothing. <laughs> I, think, I think yeah, it's, it's uh, you know the uh, maybe easier, and then but also uh, we have uh, rules, and every time they do the show, they're driving. Uh, every time they drive, uh, any time, whatever uh, whatever happened, they must keep smiling. That's that's our oh rules. God. Drift with a smile. That's also uh, our motto. Oops, that's probably harder than actors. All right, next question. Okay, so tell us about one most dangerous performance you ever done in drifting show? At, um, yeah, again, it's a difficult question because um, uh, every time that we have to uh, the change the sequence and also the choreographies because we don't want to do the same, you know, same show, same choreography every time because the people get bored. Uh, that's also the, it's a really the hard challenge, the big challenge for us. But I think I think the most dangerous one we ever done is head-to-head uh, -head drifting uh, on the oval track in the States, uh, on the NASCAR uh, the circuit. And um, that was a uh, very high speed and the cars head uh, head to head and then they passed each other by inches away. Oh my goodness. Has somebody heard it actually? Nope. Wow. <laughs> Alright, next question. So, how did you make the contact with the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift Films production? Um, they, contacted, uh, they contacted us. Of course. <laughs> they are the best. All right, so next question is, uh, so you used to be also consultant of video game Grid from Codemasters. So, what do you think about race in video games? Um, yes, these days the uh, technology is you know, uh, very high, so uh, um, yes, um, it's a very good game. But the uh, most important part and also difficult part for me as a consultant um, is the balance. Um, it's, if, you make the, the, uh, if you make the game too realistic, it's a very, very you know, hard to play. Um, then it's not easy to you know, they, they get better and improve your skills. But also if you make too much fantasy, you know, they're too easy. Um, the you know, game fans, you know, they're very good about it, so, so they get bored as well. So it's um, very difficult to find find a fine balance. Mm. Sorry, um, let's go back to the question about the uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift film. But um, there are different scenes of drifting in film, right? So which scenes did you guys do, and which car you used? Right, I think the people expect, uh, yes, that the car park, you know, they're going around, around scene, mm -hmm. but unfortunately not. Um, uh, we did the uh, 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 last scene uh, in uh, Midnight Mountain, uh, and then the car was a uh, Mitsubishi Evo. Mitsubishi, all right. So, okay, so this is kind of a strange question, but what are your hobbies? Um, I shouldn't say uh, drifting. Um, <laughs> Maybe, uh, you say he's professional. And traveling, <laughs> I must say. Traveling? So which country is your favorite? Um, well, many, well, I've been many, many countries and because I've been in many shows and also schools around the world. Um, but I must say um, um, Italy because uh, I love Italian food and every time, because Federico is a good friend of us, every time I go there and Federico knows a good restaurant and they also nice wine and cheese. It was fantastic.
Hai sentito? È innamorato con l'Italia! Ma dai, che bello, no? Alright, so next question. In DVD film series, Wong and Battle the Legend of Skyline and Toge Battle the Legend of Drift AE86. Where did you perform drifting and with who produced these? Okay, this is uh, produced by the Japanese the filmmaker and uh, they originally um, they dom for the domestic market, but they, I think uh, I heard they are making a voiceover, so um, I'm sure they will be uh, available in the overseas in, in there soon. And then, uh, yeah, actually they did uh, the filming, uh, most of filming on uh, our course, in uh, one of our courses, which is a uh, mountain course, Toge course. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of the midnight, so um, they're always the filming start about 10 o'clock at night and then finishing about 4 o'clock in the morning. That's, that's every day like that. So it was uh, quite tiring. Oh my goodness, I can never do that. I'm morning person. Oh my... <laughs> No, 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 seriously, actually, I always wake up like 6.30 in the morning, wow. even though I don't, I don't have a work or even I have a work, doesn't matter. Always 6.30 or even 6, sometimes even 5, and you're doing an exercising and this kind of stuff. And, well, I'm crazy. Well, yeah, oh, okay. let's forget about that. <laughs> All right, so, so, okay, so what is your future project in Team Oranges? The future project, um, there are many projects. Uh, at the moment, uh, because we started running uh, the lady driver, uh, the Kuboka, uh, Kubokawa, and um, um, she was uh, extremely popular, and especially uh, in the Middle East, and also that she was very popular in Italy as well. And um, uh, so uh, now the, uh, um, we are very keen to pre produce more lady driver, female driver. Um, so uh, actually uh, we just decided this afternoon in a meeting uh, we're going to do an um, audition for the, uh, the new uh, female driver for the future. Wow, good luck for her! So the last question, say hello in Japanese to fan vision Diego Vida please. Diego Vida san, konnichiwa. Diego. Konnichiwa. konnichiwa. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, and it is so pleased to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>